For those of you who don't know, uh, Lagorv was the winner of the Summer Cup over Opie right here in the finals and is trying to become the first player since Crazy Kaylee to win consecutive cups uh, and is certainly one of the favorites as a result. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, Yeesh is a consecutive cup winner. However, uh, that was during a time when Winter Cup didn't exist. It was consecutive Summer Cup wins for Yeesh back in the day. Yes. I think 2017 uh, and 2018, as I recall. Yeah. And the fields were a little smaller then, but Yeesh was also quite dominant. Uh, yeah, Yeesh's second win came over Dow. I, I, I don't, Dowsy? I don't remember who his first It was over win. Dowsy, and it was uh, it was very lopsided, as I recall. Uh, one of Dowsy's uh, worst competitive efforts, uh, or one of Yeesh's best, depending on how you want to look at it. Yeah, so we, uh, some some big names here in, in, this, uh, in this cast, I, I, I guess you could say. Yeah, uh, and you know, Lagorv in Lagorv fashion uh, won their first match, ten to two over Scout here in the group stages. Uh, this is Group Vixen, by the way, just seven to five over Calame. Kind of interesting there, but you don't want to draw too many conclusions. Mm -hmm. uh, Paratrooper, meanwhile, uh, lost to Scout eight to four, and now faces a major group stage challenge in the form of Lagorv. Uh, I don't think they need to win this, but even scoring a draw here would be absolutely massive for their chances of advancement. Yeah, I, it is. It is currently you know um, top three from the group advance uh, to five, and they actually had a drop in their group from one of the players um, who signed up and then realized, oh, I don't have the time to do this. <laughs> yeah, it, so, it does happen. Um, so Paratroopa does not necessarily need this to to get out of the group, but if Para does win the, uh, this match, um, they could get out in second place, uh, which is the not likely if if it's a loss. In fact, impossible yeah. if it's a loss. Right. Well, so it's not so much a need in a statistical sense, right? But it is, I think, in a sort of confident sense, because Para has made the knockout bracket in each of the last two cups, the last summer and the previous winter. But they've run into Mini Auric and you, respectively, yeah. and we're out in the first round by a pretty definitive margin both times. So what we've seen from Para is really good group stage play, uh, takes care of business against the players they're favorited over, occasionally makes a real game of it with the uh, with the big-time favorites like Lagorv, uh, but has had trouble when they got to those much tougher matches in the knockout bracket. So at this point, you know, getting out of group stages, as you said, also with a player dropping, not necessarily a big deal. But at some point, if they really want to advance deeper into these tournaments, they need to put up a good showing against a really good player. So every time they play a match like this, it's a big opportunity to take that big step. Yeah, and uh, so let's get on in to that match. Uh, we have uh, Para versus Lagorv. Uh, with Paratrooper on the first sniper, we have Lagorv playing as Pearls. Let me just set that on up. There we go. And uh, we'll get this going in three, two, one. Playing it. Lagorv playing as a white dress or pearls, as she's sometimes called, although several characters have pearls, so we should probably stop doing that. Does take control, looks out in the window. Uh, by the way, should note the mission setup fingerprint is off, microfilm is off, swap is off. This is becoming the standard meta on High Rise 35. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we do, you know, we, we do have new setups for High Rise uh, a, lot, a lot of time these days. But for this particular group stage, we do have the, the, the you know the classic you know three five and as as you mentioned, Perloin has become a much bigger favorite over Fingerprint as that fifth mission in recent years. It, it, it definitely used to be uh, primarily Fingerprint, I'd, I'd say. It did, but I think people eventually started to run the numbers and they realized AIs just don't complete fingerprint often enough and it's not enough of an attention sink relative to Purloin. With Purloin, you have, along with Bug, two different missions you can rush at the end if a frame attempt fails, if an AI does not seem to complete soft tells. It gives you a second option there, and it turns out does absorb more of the sniper's attention than fingerprint, at least for most snipers, and I think they are correct there. Lagorf hasn't done anything other than a briefcase cancel. Speaking of low lights, they do seem to be fishing for one. Yeah, Lagorv uh, not really doing anything. Maybe trying to play off the idea that Para, uh, she does have some issues sometimes with Civ shot and goes for the bug though. Well, we're so far away from it, and the idea is to look like we probably couldn't be close enough to bug, and uh, we achieved that at least. We didn't look close enough to bug because we weren't, and our hand goes out for no reason. We pick up a rote statue highlight after. Afterwards. I don't think the bug was suspected, uh, but there's a reason for that. It's because they weren't close enough for it to take. Still no flirts, by the way, either. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of a sh camera shake there from the Gore. Probably not happy with the fact that this... Whoa! Ooh, Look at that purloin! Purloin, that statue, Toby, with the timing. Now, you can't plan that, but you can jump all over it when the opportunity presents itself. 
And the way Toby presented the list, that's exactly what happens. Toby, our willing accomplice, then goes all the way across the party because, of course, they do. They were just at statues. Let's see if we can get a reject out of this, too. We mm. do not. One of the twins is going to take it here. It's going to be plain twin. There we go goes for the, the list. bug! The we are at mission win countdown. Right and Para finds the shot. Para is all over it. Five seconds left on the countdown and a late rush with zero flirts. And very impressive from Lagorve, but Para slams the brakes on that rush effort. Yeah, it's really interesting. It's, uh, I'm trying to figure out if Para is shooting for this bug or saw the Perloid and knew exactly what happened there. Because it feels like the, the Perloid might not have been seen. It was on screen, was visible for just a moment. However, the fact that uh, the fact that we were heading towards the Ambassador made Para rot rotate away from that, 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 that list being gone quickly. Yep. quickly. And so maybe, maybe Lagor would have gotten away with more if... Uh, they hadn't gone for that bug and said, look, I'm specifically not bugging. Go look and go realize that this purloin is gone and then low light me. And then I yeah, can just best do whatever. Guess, best guess that's bug and inspects and that's all I need to see. Um, and we do often say that snipers will credit flirt. In this case, if you were watching White Dress at all, you could see, oh, there's no way the flirt is done. But it's a reasonable thing to sort of give that up in the back of your mind, not track it as much if other things are happening. And then you see the bug in the inspection, and you figure flirt could be done, and that's it. So I think you're right. I think if, you know, there's no way the fade was seen particularly clearly, or at least if they did, they have way better eyes than I do. <laughs> um, so hard to say. But there was no zoom, at least, right? There was no indication on the sniper camera that that was being watched. Definitely watching for that bug path, though. The third bug path we taken, there was an early bug attempt in that game that was not taken. And, of course, there was a missed one as well, too. So I think you're right. I think it's just the bug there. And if we get a contact instead in the same conversation as Plain Twin, maybe we force a f uh, coin flip. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That, that, that could have been... Uh, a little bit of a better option there, especially since it's not like we were down to like, you know, 15 seconds on the clock. We had no. over a minute. Uh, we even could have tried to find flirts if we wanted to, uh, if we wanted to go a little bit quick on that. Uh, however, this does mean that Paratrooper is going to start off 1-0 in the set, which is, again, a good confidence boost on Para's end uh, just to get that early sniper win in. But of course, when you're facing again, when, when you're playing Lagor of Janine, it's all about that spy game. It's going to be difficult to find that. And we'll see how things go if Para can find it on this first game of High Rise 3 of 5 in 3, 2, 1, playing it. I mentioned in that previous game, maybe fishing for a low light. That could be some of it, too. I'm going to spend a minute and a half trying to get a low light, and I'm going to assume I have it, because if I don't, I'm dead anyway, and I'm going to act, I'm going to act accordingly. Uh, and if that's the case, you know, they, if they are low lit, they probably win that game. So I don't necessarily mind the maneuver, especially on the spy end. Para takes control. Amber Ambassador's personal space is violated immediately, but we have nothing to do with that. We are not trying to bug. We are not trying to flirt. This game starting very much like the previous one. We're going to interrupt White Dress, who already has a highlight, by the way. We've been offered a drink, and we're going to take it. And this is going to limit our options very much in the early going. Yeah, absolutely. We are looking, perhaps, for that seduction but our st walks away and it's not a fun time for us para gives us a laser uh, rather not a laser shake but a, a camera shake to <laughs> to indicate her disappointment uh <laughs> yeah well i think general sees that outfit and says we don't really use horses anymore we've kind of graduated to tanks so no thank you <laughs> Here we go. We're going to follow them, chase them to this other conversation stand where the highlighted white dress was just before. But we are going to hit a green on that. And suddenly, it's amazing how an early green like that will basically bring back a lost 40 or 45 to 50 seconds at the beginning of the game that were spent idling. Yeah, yeah, that that is big, especially since, you know, you might get that first flirt at the, you know, immediately and then spend the rest of the time just timer flirting it out. And so you end up basically in the same spot, um, as you mentioned yeah, except the general has once again run away, making that very <laughs> difficult. Uh, playing hard to get. Here's a fake contact. Yeah, right. We see a relatively full conversation across from us with a real double agent. We're going to try to get as many people in there as possible. One of them was the ambassador, unfortunately. We're going to let off two low lights, and Lagorve, of course, on high rise, is going to get both of them perfectly. One of them was the high lit wet white dress as well, so that's pretty good. A general does come back, but it's not close enough to two flirt here. I want to see if Para goes for this anyway. Air, yep, it does. White, 51%. That's going to be anything close, uh, even on a white test after this, is going to do it. But interesting choice there, right? Do you leave and come back and try to two-flirt, or do you just take what they're giving you? Take what they give you, it turns out. Uh, but we have only 90 seconds left and no missions done. Uh, the ambassador does come next to us, and we finish our drink. <laughs> Liquid courage. Oh, we go for here. the bug, and Lagorve's watching it so closely. Like... 
I mean, yes, we have a bunch of uh, a, bu a bunch of cover here. Uh, it makes a lot of sense to try to go for this bug, mm -hmm. but I think a little uh, personally, uh, when I'm evaluating whether or not to take this bug, a lot of what I'm thinking about is, can I tell by the laser and l laser movement or lack thereof if the sniper is trying to watch this bug? Because if the sniper is trying to watch this bug, it's really hard to get away with this, right. just because. You know what else are you they need watching? Time it to a list, right? A yeah. list, uh, something like that. You need time to yeah. time it to a list. Take. You know what else is the sniper watching here? Uh, you know, if if I think the sniper is moving around trying to see something specific, then it it makes more sense to take this bug. Um, I'm not against taking this bug, even if you think the, sni the sniper might be watching it, as the orb was here, just because you know there aren't too too many options on a high rise on how to finish missions. And this is one of the better ones, especially as a low suspicion the ambassador came to you. So I'm not I'm not saying that this was a, this was a bad decision, but perhaps maybe we could have gone for a twitch bug. I believe we were in range for that if we go for that. Um, but yeah, reasonable. Yeah. yeah, look, art imitating life. How many poor decisions have come immediately after a big sip of a alcoholic <laughs> drink? There's a, that's what happens here. Uh, it's a tale as old as time, I'm afraid. Uh, in Vino Veritas, but not the kind you want. That is going to be all knotted up, though. Uh, General didn't help us, and that's probably one of the reasons we might have gone for the Risky Bug, too, is that things were not progressing as much as we would have hoped. One yeah. all. Now we have Lagorv back on the spy side on Tayen, uh, playing as buns or boots or, uh, you know, th there's, there's a few different things that uh, people like to call. I was uh, persuaded on the Buns front, if only because, like the Pearls thing, several characters have boots. So <laughs> I, uh, I, I have, I, my, my rubric has always been that it should be as unique and uh, cross-cultural and cross-language as possible. And uh, by that standard, I have to say Buns by my own rule. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Lagorv, Janine on the spy side, getting it started in three, two, one, playing it. Got a good mixed shoji setup. We are going to start immediately at blue bookshelves. And uh, this time, General a little closer to us, but we don't really care this time, do we? He's he's immaterial. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it might actually help us get away with this microphone. Look at how much General Silhouette is stopping uh, our Silhouette from, you know, the, the microphone that we just did was basically not visible because of General being there. So that's actually quite nice um, for Ligorv. Of course, we will need to find the second microfilm somewhere and because and i think that usually though usually on tan the fact that the so shoji is in front of the books actually makes it harder to get away with microfilms at books it certainly can but yeah those shadows they kind of form a giant blob especially when the character next to you like general is about twice your size uh buns here a relatively slight frame and that is to her and the spy's advantage here that is a white flirt and lagorv looks mad from the camera shake at merely <laughs> getting a Lord, this is uh, this is the privilege of being one of the best players in Spy Party, by the way, that a standard white test AT uh, would be frustrating to someone like Lagorf. I mean, it's frustrating to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's frustrating to anybody who hits more than half their ATs, I think, which is becoming more and more of the player base, by the way. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, I'm sure you have stats on this. <laughs> it, I mean, it's going up. Let's just put it that way. It's going up. 60% used to be unheard of, and now a handful of people every SCL season, for example, will match that. And I expect that record to be broken uh, in the upcoming season as well. Lagorv has that third of a flirt, has that half of a microfilm, and has only two minutes left. We're offered a drink here? No, no. Toby goes all the way around oh, the back. The ambassador is tempting us a lot here. We could have gone for maybe a Twitch bug, but... I don't but think you want this. Paratroopers watching closely. We go for the bug in oh, the oh, end! Walk away! Not bad, and look at this, the highlight goes for Rocker instead, Leopard rather, I should say, and we might be suspecting them as a result, we might be suspecting them of having a better bug opportunity, and it's true, standing sideways there next to the Ambassador, that actually was a better spot to be bugging from, and that might be to our advantage. We interrupt our own talk to room. do a contact, but I don't think it's going to be noticed on Tayen. There's the contact and a stop talk right afterwards, we're being very aggressive Highlights. Here, we do get a highlight for it. That is very bad news for Lagorf. That's interesting because... Uh, you know, the the front cover also, ha also had a suspected double agent, so maybe Para has figured out which one's the real one based on this, this party activity. However, the fact that we're highlight, you know, if we're, uh, you know, committed to finishing with microfilm, the fact that we're highlight might not matter at all because we'll be behind Shoji and that, ju that does get kind of get rid of the difference between highlights and neutral lights uh, temporarily. However, the ambassador coming back to us, it's not actually a good thing. We don't want the ambassador, but we don't want to...
bug credits. No, but we do want the seduction target, and that is done now, and we are either a statue visit or a swap, or a late purloin, or a finished microfilm away, but we might have felt that highlight, and if we do, the question of whether or not to finish microfilm as a highlight, one of several, it should be said, oh, there's the decision, before I can even finish the sentence, Lagorf has made up their mind, they're going to green, they have the ambassador for a little bit of cover here, too. Fingerprint on and this as well, that's interesting. That could bring more heat to it, though, and we don't have enough cover, the ambassador's walking towards us, but this silhouette is very visible and all alone, and Paratroopa is staring it down, here comes the microfilm, I think yeah. they're all over that, yup, right in the aforementioned buns, so to speak. <laughs> and that superfluous fingerprint might have brought more heat onto us than, than we wanted. Paratrooper looking very sharp in the early going. Yeah, and I, I just think that we, we, we didn't have enough time. I think maybe instead, once you get this bug, once you get this contact especially... Uh, you, you know, you have two more missions to go. If you want to complete with microfilm, you can walk away from your ST. You can do that pretty much anywhere. You can go straight into, you know, books, or you can, you know... A f you know, even even try to find fingerprints by going straight into books. Instead, we sit here for another 40 seconds, e either, even, you know, yeah, yeah, 40 seconds, another 40 seconds after we get this contact to, uh, to get another flirt. And that's just a, a ton of time causing us to have to go to the books near the end of the game, where the amount of things that the sniper is watching typically gets narrowed quite a bit, because you're just watching for finishes, you're just watching for people who might be trying to end the game, and in this case, we didn't have the time to get a better microfilm, and Para is on top of it. Yeah, absolutely right. Uh, interesting sniper play in the early going here. I want to see if it continues. Paratroopa as Queen, it looks like now. Yeah, Queen, and we will get that game going in three, two, one, playing it. That was a very interesting game, solid from Lagorve, but we talk about this a lot. Sometimes you do the early microfilm and the rest of the game plays out in a way that makes it questionable whether or not you want to finish. And it's hard to want to keep that microfilm in pocket and try to end the game with that microfilm in pocket. Sometimes it's the right call. I don't think this was a particularly Ooh. bad decision, but the party didn't afford anything. There's a bug attempt as we're standing, but it's surprisingly visible. There's no Shoji cover and Lagorve is watching it closely because Toby was offering to the same conversation. So there was no reason to be looking anywhere else. No one at windows for time ads, anything like that. No one at statues even really, uh, for the most part, except for maybe one person in the general vicinity. So that very well might have been seen. And if you see uh, Lagorve take a sudden, seemingly inexplicable shot later in the game, it's going to be because they saw that. <sighs> this contact's gonna knock out a center inspecting Smallman. That's maybe not the best. On Tayan in particular. Yeah, I think that was an impulsive bug, and I get it. Tayan is full of them. Uh, but like so many impulsive bugs, probably ill advised. Yeah, I, I think it may not have been seen just because uh, the ambassador walked in such a way that that bug pretty much never lands, and thus Lagorv was probably a little bit less. Uh, like thinking, oh, I need to see this, right? Because if, if you think, uh, there's never going to be a bug that lands here, you're not really going to be watching for a missed bug, necessarily. But yeah, that, that, this contact, though, feels a little rough. Five low lights, one of them being a smallman with center inspects. That's just not what you want to see on... Yeah, that's not what you want to see, and we also not what you want to see, a green flirt for just 31%. There's another bug attempt, and there's a clear lean, but Salmon is a very tall gentleman covering most of us, and Queen does have kind of a natural lean in her idol sometimes, so that might be uh, covered up there. Speaking of covered up, smallman is coming... Have you ever seen Total Recall? <laughs> I have not. For those who have, you probably know what I'm talking about. Quaid, the reactor. Little thing going on here. Go watch it sometimes. You'll laugh when you see what I'm talking about. <laughs> Flirt cooldown has expired. We're still across from our seduction target, who is Buns, who died in the previous game. There's another green. It's a two-green flirt game, but only to 62, which means we're going to need a third green even close up to finish this. We only have 80 seconds left, but if we actually got away with this bug, we're actually in decent shape. That, however, huge if. I, I think that the... Um, the contact actually helped us out a lot in terms of that bug because the again it was the back conversation that got highlighted like like last game the back conversation got highlighted even though the front conversation did have a double agent slash suspected double agent. Hold that, hold that thought. Inspects and fingerprint simultaneously here. This is a big moment, but Lagorv has the discipline to wait to shoot either way. Oh, so we're, not gonna get, we're not going to finish these inspects. And it doesn't matter anyway, Lagorve assumes we do, and suspected the bug, and, it might, and hey, it's Tayan, right? It might be contact, inspects, and look at the timing, it's under a minute left. The fact that the camera did not snap over does not tell me anything, because Lagorve is a good enough sniper to keep watching the party and wait 
they know they have 10 to 15 seconds there to think about shooting, so I would not expect them to snap over like so many snipers do when they see inspects could be completed. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, Legorv just on top of things there, and I that 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 is perhaps the danger of going center inspects on Tan, right? Especially when you're one of the few characters who's done it. That's still you know n still a sus still a potential suspect rather than being knocked out. Just, it, it's just so easy, I feel like, to be like, eh, someone's going center inspects at like forty seconds left, and they maybe they could have had a bug earlier. And even if you're not certain, that shot can just come so naturally, uh, which can, of course, lead to civilian shots, but to make the decision to go to center statues as spy, especially at this timing, it's it, it can be a little iffy. Maybe maybe we want to go for some other kind of finish, but uh, especially as you mentioned with the fingerprint as well, because maybe you think, oh, maybe I missed a fingerprint, even if I haven't missed a bug, and, and that could be finishing as well. So Legorv gets that done. Uh, and we are out of Tan and into Terrace, another T venue. I think you go into Tan, but you go on to Terrace. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna, uh, yeah, okay, here. and okay. I am. Uh, but we are all <laughs> knotted up. It's all snipers so far. They are looking very, very sharp. And it's not gonna get any easier here on Terrace. Even on three seven, all possible missions. There is no microfilm, of course, because there are no bookcases. But other than that, all missions are active, and that seems to be the meta here too. Still pretty hard against a good sniper, and apparently both snipers today on point. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see how Lagorv can handle yet another attempt at getting a spy game off of Paratroopa in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Lagorv has started at uh, Windows a few different games now. Uh, are you, are you sensing myself. a pattern? I, I am sensing a pattern, and I used to do that myself. There's a green time ad. That is not fit the pattern. That is not something I was expecting. But it is green, and there is one other person at Windows checking their watch at almost exactly the same time, and that is Buns again. So, oh, there's bar highlights coming out uh, from Paratroopa. But if they notice, if we notice the uh, time ad a little late, are we going to remember who was at Windows? And if we do, we're going to have it down to two. Yeah. That, that, that is true, but some, sometimes it can be difficult when you're memorizing statues, watching for bugs, uh, you know, early on in this time of chaos, those timeouts can be very strong, and without any other information about the game track, the wind predictor's like, ah, green time ad, that's 4% extra for the spy, uh, as far as chances go. Mm, that sounds about right for Terrace. I feel like it's only a mild benefit here. Yeah, a mild benefit, but, you know, I, I, I think that maybe is a little bit understated, um, because we know we're going to get more flirt, and flirt can quickly rise the the odds once you have that. However, only 26% here in the early goings. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of uh, subpar flirts from both players in the early going. There is a delegate Ooh. into green dress, and we stop talking immediately afterwards. How did we, we delegate drink? to green dress there? It looks like... like it looks like we should the not fake, have been able hang to. On. The fake knocks out the person we delegate to, which means we might not be looking for the list right away, but oh, is there a reaction coming right now? Is there a reaction coming right now? They were bar highlights, so this is not the kind of game you normally want to do it. This should, in theory, be very well narrowed down. And there's a fingerprintable briefcase for Lagorf. Shot and immediately. Be wow. Saw the purloin, trusted the bar highlights, and then figures anyone who looks like they're making any mission progress after that, I suppose. And what do you know? It's Lagorf with the fingerprintable briefcase. Like I said, snipers on point. Yeah, maybe maybe Para was just really just just knew who could have been delegated there, knew that no one else was in, no other bar highlight was in conversation with Irish, and uh, you know or, or the green dress, you know. <laughs> well, it could be that, right? It could be total mastery of the situation, but it could also be a little yeah, bit. Yeah. I'm not sure, and I'm going to shoot the next person who's doing something. Well, uh, the interesting thing is, is uh, the interesting thing about that idea though is the fact that one uh text doesn't have contact and once in spy has done purloin on terrace do you expect them to be doing fingerprints i don't know that's a good question depends on whether or not you've picked up the time ad as well um, that's true but you're right normally you time ad specifically so the ai has more chances to get inspects more chances to get fingerprints things like that uh but that's why it can be smart is to do the counterintuitive thing right down the yomi rabbit hole <laughs> All right, well, as we mentioned, again, it's just snipers so far. <laughs> this has been quite the set from, from both players. Just a lot of control on the sniper side. Doesn't seem like there's been too too much hesitation either. 
We'll see if Para can, can finally break away or if Lagorov is just going to keep this nice and even with the Sniper win yet again in 3, 2, 1, playing it. When you're up against a dominating sniper, this is usually how you want to play it. You need to match them, you need to win, and then maybe, you, hey, usually you'll put up with a draw if you're a big uh, underdog, especially in a group stage situation, obviously, where draws are possible. Um, but on top of that, you know, sneaking out just one spy win, way more plausible, matching that lockdown sniper is usually the way you see these upsets, these surprising results, and I don't want to overstate that too much. Uh, Para, obviously, capable of some high-level play, but Lagorv has just been maybe, arguably, over the previous calendar year, maybe the best Spy Party player, certainly in the... Con I've lost your track. Oh, oh, that's because my Discord crashed. <laughs> we'll be right... We'll have track back in just a moment, folks. Sorry about that. Back. We had a little technical glitch there, but we're doing <laughs> my, okay. Is the game my, still going on your end? You might, yeah, game is still going on my end. My, my Discord just crashed for some reason and restarted. It happens. Uh, Discord, why, why, why must you be like this? Anyways, continuing on though, we do have. Well, nothing happened contact. while you were gone. You came back just in time for the contact, which is a pretty good one. And we're gonna get real contact highlights coming out from Lagorv, and you gotta imagine because it's Terrace and the, the sniper knows the double agent. We're gonna get another one at some point. I uh, like that. Not that point, I wouldn't have thought. That's gonna knock out a few more. We have four low lights now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, interesting. No, okay. no, 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 hang on. They're Lagorv back. reconsiders the crazy highlight lowlight strategy. I think they decided instead I'm going to take my lowlights, have only one highlight, and everyone else who could have a reel is going to be brought back to neutral. We're going to go to the bar now, and there's going to be a purloin. It's going to be an immediate purloin. An immediate purloin there. And has it been noticed yet? We're zoomed back out here. There's a fingerprint and a flirt and a purloin all at bars within 10 seconds. This is a lot of progress. One of these partial missions are, is going to be wasted. Has any shot come off? Has any indication of this purloin happened yet? There's a highlight, but no shot has come off. And I can't imagine we have enough... RST follows us to our conversation! Oh my god. Oh wait, but we don't hit the green test and the shot really comes off anywhere! It doesn't matter! Just like the inspects that never took, Lagorv is taking no chances themselves and assumes th that they're done with flirt. I was wondering, are they really going to shoot here for a talk? And they do. Lagorv, every bit is on point as their opponent. Yeah, this is kind of incredible. Um and, and it's really weird this uh this this uh, contact uh almost low lighting once the okay so so here's what happens we get the first contact and Lagorov highlights everyone who is in for real double agent switches conversations yeah. another contact happens and Lagorov's Lagorov for a moment considers just for a moment low lighting the new conversation which is exactly counter into I, I think really counterintuitive because yeah. I would think double agent switch conversation is actually more likely that um that the 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 spy is in the second conversation because you know a spy that's in the first conversation conversation doesn't necessarily need to do this second contact while a spy that's in the second conversation sort of, sort of does for that mission progress um of course i, I, I think it might have, well right but how often do you get a contact the double agent switches immediately and then you get another it was very odd that the double agent switched so quickly i think that might have been what threw them uh they're trying to parse out in real time how do i want to handle this do i really just want to highlight them and they reconsider and decide i'm going to actually neutralize everyone that's remaining which i think is the correct play yeah i think you normally don't have to do that much contact parsing in that short a time period yeah i i i, I do think in this case it, it kind of evens out i would not expect the spy to be more likely to be in one than the other necessarily because the spy has clearly seen the double agent move conversations, has probably felt the real BB highlights, and knows because this contact just happened, when this double agent moves conversations, it's pretty much the exact same landscape as the first contact, except for like one more low lay. And so that's pretty a pretty much. valuable, I'd say, second contact to take, even if it, you know, to, to just to get that, get rid of that highlight for yourself. So I do think that. It could be, you know, the spy could have been in either conversation. I would have been very surprised to see those low lights stick, though. Um, mm -hmm. And that means well. we do have more snipers all the way through. Now we're onto Aquarium, though, though, where that could, that could quickly change. Yeah, I said into Tayen, onto Terrace. I think back into Aquarium is the way to put it. This is definitely enclosed, uh, certainly. And it's going to be Lagorv on the Spy, playing as Kane, and we are all nutted up. We're halfway through this match, and the Spies haven't really done anything. They've played pretty well, in my opinion, but they have no wins to show for it. But Aquarium is a good place to change that, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely is, especially when you have uh, someone who's as, at, as, as good at bugging as, as, as this character. This, this Kane, Kane bug can be so strong. Uh, sometimes we'll see if Lagor makes use of that in three, two, one, playing it. In SCL at least. 
Aquarium, almost exactly 50-50 after two seasons of play, or I should say one and a half seasons of play, was introduced midway through SCL5, um, and Spies saw a pretty significant advantage. It was a lot closer in SCL6, but it's evened out to almost exactly even. Yeah, I mean, it is one of that the more spy-favored venues, just because that big honking shark that can make things so difficult for the sniper, especially in the last 10 seconds of any given game. <laughs> spies yeah, can just you say, you can't shoot me. And... Uh, be difficult that's for sure Lagorve with the early green flirt um doesn't matter too much on aquarium spend a little less time analyzing flirt on Ooh, aquarium. we're going for a really goes. quick briefcase and slam that back down behind the shark cheese we got a cheese fingerprint i love that i love cheese fingerprints because so they can mean an entire mission just to get one of them Right, especially if you pair it with a difficult later or something like that. Uh, when I say pair it, I, uh, I don't mean anything by it. Uh, I do think the interesting thing here, though, is that when you cheese one fingerprint, you are sort of, in a sense, acknowledging that the sniper you're playing is either really good or having a really good day, or both. Um, because you're trusting them to not credit a second fingerprint, to not take an iffy shot. You're trusting them to have a very good mission count so that one fingerprint is the difference between the trigger being pulled and not. Yeah, this is a very strong start from here, from the Gorv here. We've got two missions done. How many lowlights are we going to get here? That's four, five, possible, five. And we get them all. Yeah, all five gone. And we even get highlight in this conversation. Wow. You know what's interesting? Despite that highlight, the, uh, the, the win percentage is very... It's just very happy about our chances. 65% despite being highlight. Yeah, two minutes left is a lot there. Um, our, I guess... Yeah, we're not obligated to take the briefcase, but there's a fingerprint on the book instead, and fingerprint is done, and if we got away with that first one, this is a big deal. And I'm going to say that is, if not a perfect response from Para on Sniper, very, very close, by the way, to that contact. Yeah, and now what do you do? Now, the question is, how do you finish this game? I think that maybe you can try to go for, like, a purloin, uh, maybe, like, a, a delegate. In fact, the shark, is shark going to the top right now, or is it going to the Center. bottom? Right in the middle, uh, or where they headed next, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, if, if Shark is headed top next, maybe you can just, like, direct Purloin, and, uh... Yeah, maybe so. Uh, Ambassador is no, not going to be in a very buckle position. Going bottom here. I think uh, some of, I think the time might have already passed, though, because when you started that sentence, it was a minute and 45 on the clock, and at that point, it's early enough that there's a very good chance we're going to narrow down after the Purloin, uh, rather than fire for it, if we don't suspect those uh, fingerprints. And we can't suspect more than one, I don't think. Yeah, the problem for Para is that despite the fact that the spy is highlight, it's one of so many highlights. Yeah, you know, it's not a very significant highlight. Of of the of the of the characters that are suspects, still you know not low lights, only three of them are not highlight. I think at this point you actually want to bump them all down to neutral and switch these highlights to someone else, something else like Bar, for example. Yeah, that that could be that, that could be something you want to do. Lagorv could maybe go for like a bug into dive behind Shark here. <laughs> I think you might have to. Here's a weird chance. The ambassador and the spy are covered up, and now they're not anymore. Yeah. Oh, we go for the no. The ambassador oh, gives us a bug. I don't know how you defend against that. It's a pure opportunism play. Are you really comfortable shooting for something the spy had no control over? No, you are not. Lagorv gets a little gift from the party and absolutely takes advantage. Yeah, a very, very well done, you know, bug there from Lagorv. Of course, you know, to, to some degree, it's getting lucky, right? Uh, Lagorv got quite fortunate to be gifted this bug. However, it was well capitalized on. You know, we, we always differentiate between certain certain spy skills. Some, you know, there, there are skills in creating your own opportunities and forcing things through. You definitely need to have that. And I think Lagorv showcased that with the print in this game. And then there is skill in taking the opportunities that the party gives you in any given game. We saw both types of skill in this one game, and it results in the first spy one of the set. Yeah, you could say it's luck with the bug, certainly. You could say there's skill taking advantage of the opportunity, maybe a bit of both. But how much of a role does that fingerprint play? Because otherwise, the bug is not the final mission. So a lot going into that, hard to parse out. Uh, no offense to your win predictor. It can only do so <laughs> much. This is a very complicated game and a lot of complicated branching decisions. And Lagorre put themselves in the best possible place to win. Put it this way, the best spies put themselves in a position where when they get lucky... They almost always bring the win home, and they did here. That is the first spy win, and now Lagorv trying to cash that in, not give it right back on the other side here on Aquarium. I do think that Lagorv 
was probably planning for a direct purloin and to dive behind top shark at the end um if you know if if that bug hadn't come and maybe that works out right for lagorv um so it's it's it's, it's definitely possible lagorv still could have won that even without the bug but the bug just locks it up so quickly and uh and now para is in a rough spot because again lagorv sniper just on a regular day is scary as hell on a day where Lagorv just hasn't seemed to missed any hasn't seemed to have missed anything yet, that's that's just so difficult to play against. Yeah, but that, that, that might have been the one spy win you need. It might be over. We don't know yet, but it is very plausible that it is the only spy win we'll see of the day from either player, and uh, maybe the only one necessary. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, let us get on into this next game, Paratrooper, as buns yet again. We've seen at least two bun spies. I don't remember if it was from Lagorv last time. Um, but we, we, we've definitely, she, she, she's, she's been our spy, um, a little bit more often than you might expect. <laughs> if you want to quote Opie later, we've seen at least two buns today. On to Aquarium, <laughs> oh, four to on. three Lagorv, ready when you are. <laughs> All right, let's get it going in three, two, one, playing it. I mean, if you say we've only seen one, that's honestly kind of confusing. So <laughs> I don't think we need to parse it any more than that. Uh, Para takes control. Uh, playing, I should point out, playing really well here. I feel like the spies have been close to victory uh, several different times, and I don't think, really, that a good sniper takes that shot in that previous game. I don't think you can assume, first of all, if you missed the print and you couldn't really guard against it, how do you assume the spy is going to have the ambassador walk up to them late? It's just not a high percentage play. Yeah, yeah, it really just is not. Uh, you have to be hyper aware of, like, the, the, the animation and to talk, right? But it's so hard to, it's, to... It's, yeah, I don't know if that would have been a good shot, even though it would have been the correct one. And that process over results kind of distinction is uh, one of the ones the best players have to make. That is a contact from Para. It's a pretty decent one here. There are several lowlights. I'm going to say this is only slightly below average for a Aquarium. A bug from but... behind the shark. Ooh, are we going to see that little head tilt? I don't think we did. And we've got another highlight coming out here at Windows instead. And I think we might have gotten away with this. Yeah, we might have gotten away with it. However, I think Lagorv is skilled enough to credit that. This is like, okay, yeah. Ambassador came right next to next to this character who just got real contact and got highlighted highlighted for that. Uh, you, you'll notice that, you know, there's only five highlights it's, and we are one of them for that real contact. Quite a few lowlights as well. Credit the Booba Bug. It might be actually more difficult to win, you know, you know finish out this game and win it than it seems. Yeah, no, absolutely right. Um, it's like Tayen in that sense, where getting away with the bug is nice, but the snipers are so often willing to credit them, even when they're not crediting a specific example like that, right? Uh, just in general, you're going to be alone behind a shark with an ambassador at some point, probably, and a lot of snipers will credit it, and therefore uh, I wouldn't think it would make a massive difference to get away with it. But it did look fairly clean, and sometimes when you get it when you're not entirely behind shark, you don't register as suspicious because the assumption is I would have seen it explicitly. Uh, are we not going to get this flirt? I, we, <laughs> it's close. We do we get it though before. before. Get it. it is a 51, <laughs> and we're going to get partial inspects too, and I guess that's going to be the play here. It's going to be inspects into flirt, and there's almost two minutes left, and getting that early contact without giving away quite too many uh, low lights. And getting I have a feeling that we might get shot, however, on if we if we go straight into statues here. Like, if we try to go statues and... Yeah, well, I don't think we are. Flirt? I think we're probably... I think we're probably go. We probably went there. Maybe we're deciding for the flirt... And we're never going to finish the inspects. In the same way, not fin finishing fingerprint could be better. There was a green fingerprint attempt there on the drink, and it does not take. That would have given us partial progress ac across three soft tail missions at the end of the game. Yeah. Opportunities galore at that point. We are going to sidle up next to our seduction target, though, in the same left to right position that we were on at stat uh, statues, too, as well. For Two that green matter. flirt. That's huge. So there's a brain test. It's done. One statue visit with one minute left could do this. Yeah, but I think if we go there, we just die. We have to delegate, delegate, and We're that's... We're gonna delegate, and we do it very suddenly. The shark was no longer in front of us. It was right out front from two glowing people. It was a very relatively obvious delegate if you were looking <sighs> for it. And Lagorv is looking around the shark, peeking around, maybe seeing where Para is. We're, trying to, leaves, we're trying to get to a place where we can dive behind be shark, this. but it's just it's too late. Work. Lots There's of low lights. lights! Wait! Is he gonna shoot? Is he gonna shoot? There's he's not! He's just, he's just low lighting! He's... Did Para get away with this? Oh my they goodness! Did. 
Assuming it's not done because no one is done with inspects or fingerprints, and I don't think they were crediting that bug. After all, I can't believe the shot didn't come off. I expected maybe a few seconds of low lighting, followed by the sudden realization that I have to shoot, but they don't, and Para follows up the first spy win immediately with the second, and we are still tied. Wow, that bug. I thought for sure that Lagore would be crediting this because look at look at this. We're watching for it, or I mean, and we know like suddenly, hey, Shark is here, but I think maybe what happened is Lagorve watched for just long enough and the bug happens right as Lagorve pulls out from from that zoom in on the bun's bun, you know. <laughs> and 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 so that it just happens in that little tiny bit of time where you think, you know, there's no way the bug happened right then. I've been watching this the whole time, right? But yep. It's well, that's still what I was saying can. earlier, right? Like uh obviously you might credit a bug because someone's behind the uh shark with the ambassador but if they're only sort of behind them if they're still sticking out a lot you're gonna be that much more likely to think they wouldn't have bugged then why would you bug then it's riskier that of course is why you would bug then the sniper thinks if it was done i would have seen it and, and there are uh, so many you're... things here as well that i thought for sure that lagor would catch on to especially because we had the highlight for the real contact kane's a highlight we're a highlight and we are seen like basically chasing a flirt down we go to bar, we chase down a flirt, and we send Kane off to the bar here. Yeah, that was a very visible delegate, if you were looking at all. Yeah, if you were looking, and, and of course, just, I, I don't know, maybe it's my perception of Lagorve as a sniper, but if you do flirts that are that seemingly obvious because you're a highlight, because, you know, you're already suspicious for other things, then I, I, I figured that Lagorve would find that shot, but it's very impressive uh, to get that past Lagorve, even if just by a hair. Yep, and an interesting choice to not finish the inspects. I think obviously the right one, and I'm saying that from process and results. Uh, the results, of course, inarguable. Moving on to Modern, though, and we are still knotted up. Yeah, yeah, now Lagor maybe was thinking, oh, I finally got that spy win, time to, you know, just convert this, but <laughs> Para, just, you're not getting away that easy, Lagorv. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are on to Modern, any four of eight, one of the more more spy-favored venues that we have nowadays. It used to be quite sniper-favored on the five of eight days, but uh, ever since that switch, it's been a lot more balanced, I'd say. Certainly. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's see what happens in three, two, one, playing it. How do you start a game of Modern? Could you be going for a time out of here? There's quite a few people at bar, a couple people at, you know, statues. Uh, no one at books that can be actually suspected. Um, so I think it might have been a decent time to do a time out there. But the ambassador is not really in danger. So it's yeah. a little bit iffy, right? It's well, not the indication... The strong indication uh, is that Lagorv got away with the one on Terrace, too, which yeah. is a much harder place to get away with. Um, and the AT rate strongly suggests they would get away with it here, too, frankly. So I, I think I agree with that. Uh, interesting uh, to note early in this game here, Para, not highlighting for bar, uh, as happened on Terrace, uh, but is for statues. And that is always a big decision, because there are several different ways of going about highlights on Modern, and all of them, depending on your sniping style and your general comfort level with each option, uh, pretty defensible. Yeah, I, I think I might have gone for that time ad, but it's definitely not the most active start I've ever seen on, on a modern game, right? Uh, no, 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 no. And Lagorv, again, seems to be kind of slow playing like they did on that early high-rise game as well. Uh, has the book here, probably planning on dumping it somewhere other than blue from whence it came. Um, were we... Okay, no, we were reading a book alone, and then we were joined by uh, Ponytail here, standing far across from us, and we have no mission progress other than the book we're holding, which may or may not turn out to be mission progress. It's kind of Schrodinger's mission progress. If we put it back in blue, it turns out we didn't do anything. In the red. Contact there's coming a, off here. There's a green fake, and I like it. If you're leaning into this, if this is how you want to start your game, you might as well sell it all the way. A uh, few people out, and neither conversation with an SDA in it was particularly full, so not great there. We are going to walk away from blue as the ambassador approaches, and Lagorv feels like they're fishing again. Yeah, um, it's interesting. There were five Lilettes available on that contact. Only three actually gotten... Uh, and we, mm, I think, are indicating to the sniper that our book is from Blue, right? Uh, it, which is true, right? It's true. Yes. But 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 the the implication of that redirect, if Para is on top there of that, it is. 
Hang on, hold that thought. There's the time that you were looking for, and the game plan Lagorf has here might be becoming more evident to us uh, as the time goes on. And you're right, by the way, only getting three of those low lights. We are going to get a flirt here at Windows, by the way. I will interrupt myself, and that is another green test, just like the oh, time ad was. But we're hanging highlight. out at Windows longer. Yep, and we're hanging out at Windows longer after the time ad, which gives back a lot of the benefit of the green time ad. Yeah, and and so as I was saying with this with this indication that our book is from blue, the implication that we re redirected because the ambassador walked over our spotted blue bookcase, now we can't go to green and return this without telling a different story to the sniper, right? Even if the sniper has no clue where our book is from, if they saw that redirect and then yes. see us go to green or red afterwards, they're thinking, wait right. a second, that is inconsistent with what right. that character was doing with that book earlier, and right. that and means it must be a spy. And if they don't notice, that's fine. But on the other hand, that means you did it for nothing. So yeah. one way or another, you are giving back something. However, we are also taking, that is another flirt. It's a two flirt. Uh, we are <laughs> being, is not happy with here. us. I don't, I don't know. I think we're watching, actually, for... Uh, I think we're looking at Seek here. I uh, think we're watching because there's coverage for the green shelf. I think that's what we're actually worried about. I think the spy placement might be incidental, as it so often is. So often you think they're... <gasps> oh, we caught the low light for the blue. correct return! It pays off. We put it back there. Is Lagorv going to feel that, though? We really worked for that low light, but here's the question. Did we work fast enough? Are we going to be able to make do here because the clocks are about to converge again. Lagorv goes directly to bar, which is at least an initial indication that they might have felt the low light and are about to burn para for it. We'll find out. Well, I think when you make a play like this, you have to just kind of assume that you've gotten this low yeah, light. Yeah, it's the cheese delegate. This seems like they are assuming and they have assumed correctly. I mentioned in the first game, yeah, it's an immediate delegate. This is going to turn into a rush. I mentioned in the first game that Lagorv might have been assuming a low light and that's why they went for that bug uh, and everything simultaneously with the purloin on high rise. It was a reasonable assumption, but they were not low lit. This time they make the exact same assumption and this time they are right the question is can para recover from that and will they shoot because we still have to reach mission win countdown para is not necessarily going to shoot for just a purloin the purloin has come off but a low light took it so there's no necessarily any reason to watch for it yet the flirt is done the purloin is done we need two more missions and the shot does come off from just the purloin the the, the narrative did not make sense with the low light but it makes sense to lagorv and we have our third consecutive spy win after six snipers to start off. Yeah, Lagorv was excited to be ahead on Aquarium, and Para got it back, but this one's going to be harder, though, Track, just because Modern doesn't have a big shark to get in the way. It Honestly, in a, in a lot of senses, I'd say Modern feels quite like Aquarium, except without the shark. Except without the shark. <laughs> there is a pool. There is a pool, but it looks pretty empty to me. I don't know. Maybe you could fit a dolphin if there, if you were really ambitious and kind of cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah, look, Lagorv uh, just sold out for that low light, and here's the here's the little extra thing that puts you over the top as a spy. A lot of spies capable of fishing for that low light, uh, no pun intended, with the shark talk. But how many of them also immediately and confidently recognizing that they have the low light? That for me was the real impressive thing about that game. Yeah, it was a very all-or-nothing play. If you don't get that low light, you are just dead in the water to continue our metaphors. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, Lagorv gets it. And now, again, Para is, like, in the spot where you have to win a spy game against Lagorv Janine Sniper. It's not an enviable spot to be in. We've seen her do it once before. Can it happen again? That's the big question. Choosing a very quick character, maybe looking for a bit of a rush here. Uh, as Taft in three, two, one, playing it. Lagorv throws the first punch. Para counter punches. The problem with the, the counter punch is you can keep countering. Lagorv has another punch. Let's call it an uppercut. Uh, and this one stings a little bit more because it is on Modern and it is later in the set. And now you are not quite in a must win spy game, but you're pretty darn close. Yeah, if you don't win the spy game, um,. I'm actually not sure what I, I, I... Oh, our last venue was Ballroom. Um, that's right. Our it's last doable. venue was Ballroom. Yeah, it's totally doable, actually. If you don't win this by the game, you, you still have chances. Uh, but, yeah. of course, of course, you are held to a draw at best uh, if you don't win the spy game. That is I that mean, is I think you still take it with the way Lagorv has been playing. That'd be a bit of a moral victory, if not an actual one. We have a green flirt at bar early on with our seduction target. Pencil mustache there. Walt Disney, some call him. Andrew Ryan, whatever you like. The prototypical Bondian looking spy of the past. 44% on that. And by the way, Lagor following suit uh, to Paratroopa uh, with a statue highlight, specifically. Yeah, yeah. Um, no statue highlights from Lagorv in this case.
Yeah, very interesting. We, there were some early on, but I think they might have... I'm not sure if they reconsidered or not. Maybe that mm. was something else. Maybe Duke was at a statue coincidentally while being highlighted for something else, but they're not bar highlights either, so that's the question. Yeah. Kind of some, some just early, pretty non-committal progress, I'd say, from Para here. And uh, it's hard to say. You have a lot of options from this spot, but I think you need to start narrowing those options in your head and thinking, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Already, like if 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 you like are just like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Until it's like a minute fifteen left, and you're finally like thinking, okay, I know what I want to do. Then suddenly the actual execution of your plans is gonna be a lot more difficult. Yeah. Well, I mean, one of the things to consider, though, is that Lagorv has zero lowlights so far. So even though we don't have a lot of progress, we haven't really given anything back. Lagorv still has to take a very wide berth looking at this party. Yeah. That's an underrated part of Modern in particular. I think Lagorv, as deadly as they are, uh, you st still only watch so many things at once. One of the reasons they're deadly is because they can narrow that party down. I mean, with this much progress and this much time on the clock, even without being a highlight, with the fact that there's no lowlights, I mean, that flirt helped, helped out quite a bit, actually. That flirt gave us, gave us 11% uh, on, well, the, on the prediction model. But we're still big underdogs because it was only 95. That is two green flirts. I think we could have approached bar. I don't remember if we approached our seduction target at bar or if they came to us, in which case that's just unfortunate. Here comes the contact. It's going to be a white, Maybe and it's not right. going to be a very good one. Oh, no. Oh no, two yeah. of them are out of conversation. Only two people have a real contact. Is Lagorb gonna notice appropriately or not? Their actual laser movement and light situation has not changed very much, but that might be because they've seen what's happened and they know mentally, I know which two people could have a real, and that would be very, very bad. Yeah, if Lagorb is aware of this fact, as you mentioned, that only two characters have real contact, that is just deadly for Para, because what are you going to do? You are going to be one of the top two most suspected characters in the game after giving away four lowlights for the privilege, you know? Yeah, that's that's really rough. That's really rough. Four is fine, but the fact that there weren't more people We're in the game. We have to go for a bug statue, in, sta statue inspect. We don't go for the bug. Lagorv does get there in time We're to finishing say... statue. This is probably... Oh, you got to do it. So there's a highlight coming out for statue inspect complete, by the way. Yeah. So that tells us one thing. And no shot yet, because we don't need to yet. Again, remember, Lagorv waited on Tayen as swap. well. It's Here comes a, a swap. Test. It's pending. We've already walked by the ambassador. There's 30 seconds left, but we have gotten to countdown, and Lagorv does not care all over it. I think that contact is what cost them the game. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what prompted the shot. Maybe maybe uh, there was an assumed bug there, just didn't want to give up that... You know, didn't want to risk having missed the bug, especially on a character, which is, again, one of the only two contactors, and it's finishing statues at a very suspicious timing. Um, Lagorv just all over it, and Para unable to keep the... Uh, the the, the spy was going. win streak going. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, no parody trooper. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I mean, look, it was six straight sniper wins, three straight spy wins. Uh, it could be snipers the rest of the way. One of the players would be fine with that. Fine with that. The other one, not so much. Uh, this has been an extremely well played match. Uh, the spies getting to mission win countdown when I'm not sure they can and uh, making a decent go of it, but the snipers just too, too good. Lagorv in particular, we've seen a couple times. Assuming green flirts, assuming inspects are done, so that even though the countdown has not triggered, they have. So Lagorv now onto ballroom has a chance to, I believe, just lock this up right here. Yeah, and we do see yet another bun sighting. <laughs> We're up to three, another confusing number, but I'll take it. No need to analyze it beyond that. Right. Para needs to win both ballroom games just to force a draw, but it would still be a pretty impressive result, all things considered. Yes, yes, it would be. Let's get... Uh this moving in three two one playing it oh what what no oh, that's no. not fair are you kidding me behind the pillar in the early going in the time of chaos but not a particularly suspicious jumble up of characters it's a white test flirt afterwards but otherwise this may have been the perfect start yeah that's that's just a dream shot on ballroom if if, if, you know, the sniper doesn't see that, you're thinking, I've basically already won this game. In fact, Lagorv could just, like, try to just cheese some flirts, go immediately into statues and contact, and be, like, done at two yep. two minutes left, and does parachute that, even? Yep. 
And again, I think that is specifically better because Para is playing very well. Because they, I think, the, I think at that point when you're playing well, you feel good about your mission count, right? And so when oh, you we, see the yeah, uh, center inspects and the contact, you're not just gonna say, "Well, I'm nervous. Uh, let's red shoot." Test. Right? Like, yeah, red test. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we might have to go back a little bit. I don't think that's really gonna hurt us much either way, though. Let's see. There's a green. Oh, we're gonna go One for it. Or we white. have time. Yeah, we, we got it. We got it. We got it. <laughs> All three action tests in one trip to the statues, but the mission is done, and that's the important thing. And the bug and the inspector. Oh, done. we're gonna get a Do book too. Away. Just. Are we gonna do that so we can contact and seduce with the book in our hand? That that seems likely. Uh, that it just seems like the easiest way for Lagorve to finish this game out. And Ooh, the context like we're gonna, good we're too. Gonna, I think we're gonna bet on a green in one of these flirts because otherwise you'd stand next to them. You'd stand next to your seduction target. I think a little closer. Oh, it's a red test. It's a red. Lagorp's camera flips out. I don't know if the distance from the seduction target had anything to do with it, but at this point, I think you take anything different. And this is how an easy win turns into a loss. This is how it starts. There's still a lot that has to happen, but that was the first thing that had to happen. Yeah, that's. Not great for Lagorb. However, I still think you have decent odds here uh, with yes. that bug in pocket. Of course, Para is known to you know sometimes shoot for inspection contact. But the fact that we have this bug so early, the the fact that we have the inspect so early, I think helps us significantly here because we've already got that hard tell done, and it's probably not expected that we have the hard tell oh. done. Whoa! This can't be. It doesn't matter. Duke gets shot in the middle of a second red flirt. Lagorb probably wondering what on earth happened there i know we are yeah what is duke doing here that's getting him shot i we maybe see a flirt with wheels at, the, at windows we get a, a fingerprint for wow that's all it takes that's we, uh, a, that center, is a center statues yep three a, red tests for Lagorv, I will have to check the database. It would not surprise me if, barring intentional red flirts, red tests, that might have been the first time that's happened to Lagorv. <laughs> was it three red tests? I thought it was just two. One was the inspect. Oh, the inspect yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> that is absolutely wild. If I told you Lagorv gets an instant bug that seems invisible, do they win? Yes. Did they get three red tests and win? Probably no. Like this the again. answer this is, is so yes. Tough. Actually, actually, this ends up being a little bit visible because of how Lagorv turns t like, uh, toward the back of the venue, but uh, the way Para was rotating means that it was really not that visible for very long. It ends up kind of behind the ambassador, but it definitely is visible for a split second. But again, yeah. with the way Para is rotating, what I'm thinking here, uh, yeah. irrespective of what's actually visible on screen, I think Para's vision is toward the left of the venue to, to start memorizing statues because, they, because Para, she doesn't think, that the ambassador's in danger. So, mm -hmm. Right, right. No, she wouldn't, of course. Well, so anyway, uh, the red test could be a product of the fact that we were standing not next to our seduction target either time. I mentioned earlier that we were counting on a green, maybe, by standing uh, farther away. And that means that if it comes up on the edge of red, you have to go for it anyway. Whereas otherwise, you might just want to let it go. Uh, but we don't have that option when we stand farther away. And that is that could have been the uh, problem, but it works out just fine. Lagorv has clinched already. We're going to play this last one out anyway to see the final scoreline. Going to be Leopard whenever you're ready. Yep, let's get it going. Going in just a moment in three, two, one, playing it. Early talk doesn't actually get the flirt off about talk uh, because we started talking before our ST joined the conversation. Even though, even even if we do get the flirt though, it's going to be a, at best like twenty five percent or something. I think yeah. is the is the yeah. green twenty six. I was I was, yeah, I was one percent off track. I'm going to abandon my uh, normal framing analysis of this because both players know that it is just for a tiebreaker possibility at this point. The match is uh, done, uh, and a tiebreaker could matter, but one game uh, yeah, where a player right. has already dropped out of the group, for example, pretty unlikely. So you could see something a little fun here uh, at a para. Or the yeah, Gorf. Absolutely. Only three low lights here from that contact, and it was a nice fake uh, in that sense. Para doing quite a lot of fakes in this, in this set. Yeah, and again, I don't really think too much of it in this particular game, but there have been, yeah, quite a few, quite a few. Uh, we're going to go for a fingerprint. No, the general is going to beat us to it, and it's a pretty good-looking cancel, though. Uh, I was kind of behind that conversation, so maybe the plan was to cancel, or maybe the plan was actually to just try to cheese it real quick. Again, this is the kind of game you might want to try some stuff out on, and how often do you get to try something out in a only semi-casual setting against a sniper of Lagorv's caliber? 
It's a rare opportunity, so why not take it? Uh, we have that first flirt done, the 26% you mentioned. There is a fingerprint on this statue, though, so maybe that was the plan. Maybe we were actually going for that case, and this was supposed to finish it up. It is going to be a side statue, though. Fingerprints done. Two of the inspects should get done. And a lot of ways to finish now. We're going to be looking, ideally, for the ambassador. We're going to take a bit of a bug path without taking a bug. Ideally, I was saying, the ambassador might go back to another statue. That's what we're hoping for, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, a good example of something you might not normally do, but you would do in this scenario at the end of a match, is microfilm on ballroom. Microfilm on ballroom. I mean, I think it's stronger than most people give it credit for. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, no, I, certainly. But you are—you don't have a lot of company with that judgment. Let's just put it that way. There's the <laughs> fingerprint done. It's definitely one of the. It's definitely the rarest oh, mission one here. Oh, look at the and Lagorf. All over the fingerprint, all over the fingerprint, and we haven't gone through the crucible of inspects completely or contact, but I think the second one of those happens, this match is going to end. Green test on the second flirt. So it's two greens again, though. It's not quite enough. Um, A lot of multi-green games that don't add up to 100% for Para. Yeah, that, that does seem to be happening so far. Question is, dude, does does Para like try to return this to blue? I mean, I think Para is dead immediately if he does, but it would be um, <laughs> a bit yeah. difficult. I'm actually surprised. This is a fairly conservative game plan so far from Para in a uh, kind of have fun kind of game. Not that I have a problem with that, you know, might as well. And there goes the green book into blue. I guess that's the adventurous, adventuresome part, right? Is yeah. the, the microfilm that might not actually normally happen against someone like Lagorv in this scenario. I think if it were 6 5, uh, we'd probably see a different uh, mission attempted there. Yeah, uh, that, 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 that's probably true. Um, but it, you know, I, I still think it's a nice try, a nice uh, attempt there from Para. And honestly, played really well. Yes. <laughs> uh, despite, you know, all of that uh, shenaniganry. Yeah, no, with, it has uh, to be with said. Lagorv uh, spy with the ambassador giving Lagorv a bit of a, a bit of a freebie on aquarium, you know. I think I think we saw a quality of play from Para that against all but just a few other entrants in the entire tournament would have been enough to carry the day. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, came against Lagorv and did not even manage a draw because of that. Although sometimes people play uh, to the level of their opponents, right? Some, you get hyped up, you know you're playing Lagorv. Lagorv's got a target on their back, right? So it might not be you know bad timing so much as this is when you play your best uh, is against your best competition. Either way, an impressive result that doesn't ultimately amount to any points. But we mentioned earlier that it's more about the confidence boost and Para maybe coming away from a match like this thinking I can I can hang with these players and. Uh, that's going to be the big question, not just getting out of groups, but this time advancing in the knockout bracket. Certainly a good omen 